Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Santero. I hope everyone is well on this beautiful sunshiny morning here in northern Michigan. Or wherever you may be watching from. The sun is shining here, the birds are singing, it's a beautiful day. Pretty excited. And I'm pretty excited to be throwing down cards for Pisces for the first half of June. It's about time, right? I think you guys have waited long enough. So this reading will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus from now until the 15th of June. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it res yeah. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. It's a general reading. It's not going to resonate for every Pisces. And that's fine. You can check your Moon Rising or Venus sign readings if you feel so compelled. I'm not going to twist your arm. They might resonate a little bit better for you. Or you can just throw out what you see all together and never give it a second thought. It's fine. Don't worry about it. No pressure. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa may play out from the perspective of the cross-watcher. And cross-watchers are definitely welcome here too. I love cross-watchers. You guys are great. Okay. Without further ado, Pisces, let's get your cards on the table. I might need these here in a minute. There's glare on the glasses at this point, but you know, they help keep the headaches away. So we'll throw them on if we need to. Okay. Pisces, why are you here? Three of Cups. That's the reunion card. I have to move this out of the way. You guys can't see. I'm still working with the setup as things start clustering on the table again. Yeah. Anyway. Three of Cups, it can mean reunion celebration, hanging out with your friends. Gaiety, hey, being loose, having a good time. Or it can indicate a third party situation. We'll see what the rest of the cards have to say. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Oh. Six cups reversed. This person may have put a salty taste in your mouth, perhaps. There's some harsh feelings, maybe bad memories associated with this. What do you think of them? The Hierophant? It's the card of blessed union. Or, just throwing that out there, or the Hierophant is the teacher of life lessons. Maybe you took a lesson out of this connection. Maybe you think they did or should. We'll see what the cards have to say. What do you want from them? The death in the reverse. Hmm. This point could be another water sign you're dealing with, Taurus or Scorpio. Okay. You don't want a metamorphosis? You don't want things to change? Hmm. Okay, Pisces. It's interesting. How do they feel about you? The Knight of Cups? Hmm. Perhaps they see you as a... <clears throat> well, that's the non-committal Joe card. They come in with the cup, they leave. It's messages. It, it's a little sweet nothings. It's words. We'll throw a clarifier on it in a minute. What do they think of you? The fool. They think you jump into things. Always doing something new. Could be an Aries. What do they want from you? Queen of Swords. She's a speaker of truth. She can be a little cold, a little callous, but she speaks her truth. She knows her shit. 
Hmm. Oh boy. What's the obstacle or blockage in this connection, the tower? It's coming undone. It's falling apart. The foundation's shaky. The storm is coming. What can be done? The devil reversed. Disconnecting from all your toxic shit. Oh my. It's a little early to call, but um, all of a sudden, I don't like that Three of Cups after all. All right, let's throw some clarity on this. Uh, hmm, steampunk, why not? Universe, Source, and Spirit, thanks for coming to hang out today. Can I get some clarity? And the cards on the table for Pisces for the first half of June, please. Pardon the glare. I know, it's a pain. I can't do contacts. I can't touch my eyeball. I, I have a hard time with mascara and eyeliner because I can't get that things close to my eye. Ugh, no. 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 <laughs> Grosses me out. I mean, I'll put on eyeliner and mascara, but it's a very uncomfortable, queasy feeling. Because I'm convinced I'm going to take my eye out. Anyway. Nothing more. Can I get some clarity? And the Six of Cups reversed, please. Three of Swords reversed. There's our second three, friends. Okay, so... These aren't your salty feelings. I think they're theirs. Could be a little bit mutual. Especially if there's a third-party situation involved. Hmm... Okay, so you feel like they're coming out of a state of heartbreak, but they have bad memories associated with something. Someone, a situation. Why is the hair fit in here? Four of Swords reversed. This gave me three. I'm going to put these back. Four of Swords reversed. Restless energy. Coming out of a state of heartbreak. You're restless. One more on the Hierophant, please. Thanks. Queen of Wands reversed. This is a life lesson. Do you think they have a lot left to learn? The 
this is like misdirected restless energy you think they're It's almost like you think they're in an energy of, well, there's nothing I can do about it but sit here and bitch. They're not doing anything about it. So they're just sitting on their hands. Why is death reversed here? Hierophant reversed. Back up the truck. Tower reversed. Back the truck up. We're going to go back up to the, here, this Hierophant. Because now this all makes sense. Not only is there restless energy. And they're not doing anything positive with it. They may be connected to someone else, and that's where the third party comes in. Because you want... You don't want things to change. You want the t connection to be maintained. You want to rebuild the tower. You want the dust to settle. You don't want to disconnect. You don't want things to change. For some odd reason, they have salty feelings toward you. Super interesting. Why is the Knight of Cups here? For how the other person feels about Pisces. Why is the Knight of Cups here? reversed isolationism you're in and out you go dormant ten of pentacles reversed they feel like there's no there's no happiness there's no abundance with this You're not, you're not doing anything to make the healing happen. You're, you're too in and out. There's no brick house with a pool in this scenario for them. King of Swords reversed. You're impulsive. You make illogical decisions. You make emotional based decisions. You don't think. I'm hearing you don't think. They feel like you don't think anything through. Moving on, what they think of you. The fool. The fool's a jumper. Always doing something new. Next. Next. I keep hearing next, next, next. Emperor reversed. You're out of control in their eyes. Okay. I think you have deep feelings for this person and you want to unite with them but there's just something about you Pisces they're extremely restless about and they don't want to move forward with it seven of swords reversed
secrets are coming out. You're always going for that thing you left behind. Why is the Queen of Swords here for what the other person wants? Why is the Queen of Swords here? That was super weird. It flipped itself. They do that once in a while. Five of Pentacles reversed. They either they want in out of the cold or they want to let you in out of the cold. They want honesty. They want truth. Even if it's cold, they want the truth. The devil, the devil in the upright popped out. Binding connection. I think they want to feel it as strongly as you do, but they just don't. One more. They view you as out of control and hopeless. And you already know they have a salty taste in their mouth about something. It's not my business to know what that is. I wasn't there. If it's resonating with you and you know what it is, you know how to fix it. I'm not going to dig that deep. This is a general reading. I'm sorry. Page of Wands, they want action, they want forward movement. They, It's like shit or get off the pot. Do what you're going to do. Leave a note. Figure it out. Even if it's cold, leave a note. Decide, make a decision and go with it. There, there's an air of toxicity here. There's also an air of a very powerful connection. Possibly with a third party involved. I don't know if someone cheated or if someone's just sticking their damn nose in. I don't know. Why is the tower here? Eight of Pentacles. Shaky foundation. The storm is brewing. The freight train is headed for the station. Possibly someone's always at work. Six of Wands. Losing the battle. No victory after the battle. No return. Justice. balance. Could be a legal matter. You could just be dealing with a Libra. I have a lot of signs on the board right now. This foundation is shaky. This tower is getting ready to fall, if it hasn't already fallen. Someone may be either always at work or always putting work into other things other than the connection. And someone isn't wanting to come back after the battle. Someone's just like, what's the point? 
there's nothing salvageable here. Oh my. Oh boy. Why is the devil reversed here for what can be done? Other than disconnecting from your toxic crap. Two of Wands, letting go of the past, moving forward to the future, disconnecting from your toxic crap, disconnect. Queen of Cups reversed, emotional closing off or at very least, putting that emotional distance. Taking emotions out of the equation. Hard one to do. You're a water sign, I get that. That's a tough one. Pisces, I get a feeling you're trying to keep a tower from falling. And the other party saying the damn tower is already on the ground. King of Wands, no further action, no further confrontation. Be done. On with it. It was so rosy at the beginning. Wow. Now let's get your advice. Nine of Cups in the upright, Eight of Swords in the reverse. You are responsible for your own damn happiness. Other people can't do that for you. Fill your cups with positive things and positive thoughts and don't let yourself get all wrapped up in this. You cannot control the actions of other people. Don't go into a cage of your own swords. Fill your cups with happy things. Happy things. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, Ace of Swords in the reverse. Cut off communication. Getting sucked back into this can, may only lead to codependency. And that's like the worst form of toxicity. There, and there's a difference between codependency and, like, a symbiotic working together. Two completely different things. Okay? You can be completely emotionally codependent on someone and rely on them for every little aspect of your life. Not be okay when they're gone. When it's a relationship that worked well and it comes to an end and you're okay when it's over... That's not codependency. That was okay. This is no longer working. I'm good. You need to cut the communication off and get back to the point of being good again. The Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Wands in the upright. Remember back in the beginning when I said this was meant to teach you something? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think there was a very, very valuable karmic lesson in this connection. It's not my responsibility to find out what that is. It's yours. But don't get all up in your head about it. Don't allow it to wrap you up in a cage of your own thoughts. You can walk out of that cage of swords anytime you want. Your feet are not bound. Your feet are not bound. Walk out of the cage, cut your blindfold off, unbind your arms. Not necessarily in that order, but just get your head together. Take this for what it was and allow the cycle to come to an end.
the lovers reversed and the magician reversed. Do not allow yourself to be manipulated back into a relationship that is not equally felt. You're not feeling it, you're not feeling it. You need to disconnect from this because it was potentially toxic. It was not good for you. I don't think it was good for either of you. I think you just need to let the tower fall, Pisces. Okay. I hate being the doom and gloom lady. I really do. But I don't sugarcoat anything. You guys know this. If it, and this could be just a special message for someone. I don't know. I just read the cards. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already, if you feel so compelled. Again, I'm not going to twist your arm. Do what you're going to do. It's your journey, not mine. I just read the damn cards. You want to know when I upload? Hit the notification bell. They usually tell you. Sometimes you have to go back and unclick it and click it a few times. I know I have in the past. I, I don't know. It has a tendency to be a little wonky like that. But, you know, with a, with a, with a database and a frame that big, I, you know, it, it's going to glitch. Things happen. It, it's part of the game. If you're interested in a personal reading, I do that too. Shoot us an email. We'll talk. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you. And I will catch you guys on Friday for the weekend top and bottom of the deck. See you next time.